the next episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. Someone in here made everything out there happen. There's a plan. You gotta see it through. We gotta win. You can't leave the saviors out of here, I will. A lot of folks gonna die in there because I'm not there to stop it. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the newest promos for next week's episode of The Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 5, The Big Scary You. I'll be discussing the promo and sneak peek uploaded on AMC's YouTube, along with the exclusive sneak peek shown at the end of Talking Dead. With that being said, warning is spoilers for everything in the show up to the most recent episode, 804, and let's jump right into this. So right off the bat, we're shown Negan and Father Gabriel moments after we last left off with them in the season 8 premiere. Negan tackles Father Gabriel, so I assume that he completely disarms him and holds him captive. As a matter of fact, the Talking Dead sneak peek shows Negan doing exactly that. It literally starts with Negan tackling Gabriel like in the promo, but it continues to show Negan taking Gabriel's weapons from him, including his rifle, his pistol, and a knife. While he says that the rifle is empty, he checks the clip on the pistol and says that it's fully loaded, pointing it at Gabriel. That's where the sneak peek ends off, so what do you guys think about all of this? Now while the camera panned out in episode 801, we could see that Negan and Gabriel are actually cornered in a separate part of the building than the rest of the sanctuary. So unless there's a connecting basement or something, they're trapped in alone. Negan's line at the end of the promo further makes me believe this, as he says that my folks are gonna die in that cause I'm not there to stop it. Now meanwhile, all of Negan's lieutenants appear to be having a meeting. We have Simon, Gavin, Arat, Regina, and Dwight. Before we get into this, I actually want to point out that in the Season 8 trailer this summer, we saw a clip of Negan banging Lucille off the table, or desk or whatever that he was sitting in front of with a huge window behind him, and this appears to be the same spot that these lieutenants are having their meeting. So do the saviors manage to break Negan out of being trapped in there with Father Gabriel by the end of the episode? Anyways, during this promo of the meeting with all of Negan's lieutenants, Gavin throws out an accusation saying that someone inside that room caused everything that happened outside. Right after Gavin says this, Simon creeps in beside Dwight, staring at him as he's obviously trying to intimidate him. Now does Simon have any legitimate reason to suspect Dwight, or is it just a shot in the dark? It is common knowledge that Dwight isn't happy about the whole Negan-Sherry situation in the past, so will Simon possibly bring this up as a reason for Dwight to want to overthrow Negan? Simon could also call out Dwight's lie last season that got that Dr. Carson killed, as it's possible that Simon may have not believed him. Anyways, it seems like Dwight defends himself by proving that he still wants to fight on the Savior's side. In the promo trailer, we see Dwight standing up stating that, if you can't leave the Saviors out of here, I will. This implies that, while some may be willing to wait around for the situation to die down, Dwight shows confidence as he wants to take action. Now I honestly believe that this is all an act to show that he's still Negan, but we'll just have to wait and see how he handles this situation. If Dwight does end up being the leading cause of them getting Negan free along with themselves, then it'll definitely buy him some credibility points. Now, eventually once the war is over, if Rick's side wins and Dwight survives, everyone will eventually find out that he was an informant for Rick's side. If Simon is alive to find this out when it becomes public knowledge, I bet that he will flip shit and say that he called it. And hell, if Dwight gets caught or found out before the war is over, this could still happen. And speaking of Simon, the next clip in the trailer shows him walking out of the meeting room into a hallway filled with saviors. This appears to be the same scene as the season 8 trailer this summer, where we saw Simon talking to someone saying, I need to correct you on that. So who is he talking to? Is it Dwight or just some random savior? Also, there are normally two promo images released for the following week's episode every week, and while one photo just shows Simon sitting at a table, another one actually shows Dwight and Eugene talking in a room. So are they planning something here? Are they going to collaborate somehow? Moving on, now that Rick and Daryl have successfully stopped the saviors from getting their weapons to the sanctuary, we seem to pick up where they left off last episode. In the promo trailer, we can see Rick and Daryl looting a crap ton of dynamite out of the turned over jeep that Rick jumped out of at the end of last episode, and now, I'm not sure of how fragile that dynamite is or how stable it is, but they're probably lucky as hell that it didn't explode. 
Daryl mentions that they have a plan and Rick adds that they need to see it through. So what is this plan? I'm sure we'll find out, but they'll probably just show us instead of telling us first, which I really enjoyed about this season. It adds in more time for action, and in my opinion, I prefer figuring out what they're doing as they're doing it. The show does a great job conveying their plans, such as Daryl leading the Horde to the Sanctuary in episode 801, along with Aaron's group cornering in the Saviors until the Dead Ones turned in episode 802. And speaking of Daryl, in the promo trailer we get a very short clip of him and Rick walking up to the savior that Rick stabbed and threw out of the jeep, as it appears that he's still alive. So what information will Rick get out of this savior? What are their future plans for this episode? While asking these questions to myself, I remembered that we thought we were going to see Rick go meet Jadis this episode. If you're unaware, there's a fairly popular fan theory going around involving Rick going to Jadis in an attempt to win her over and get her group back on his side. I'm honestly surprised that they ended up not showing it this episode, but I don't mind as I honestly loved 804 to bits. So first off, we haven't seen Jadis' group since the season 7 finale, but she's been shown in season 8 trailers so we've just been waiting for her to come back into the mix. During the first season 8 trailer released this summer, we saw short clips of Rick captured inside of a shipping crate at Jadis' junkyard so we all assumed that Rick would get captured at some point. The idea of Rick being held captive during All Out War is completely original to the show as it never happened in the comics, so we had no real clue as to how this would happen, but now we have some idea. When Rick walks out with baby Gracie at the end of episode 803, he mentions that he has a stop to make and that Daryl has his bike so either Tobin or Aaron should take her. We now assume that this stop Rick mentions is actually him going to the junkyard to speak with Jadis. I have it. I have a stop to make, and Daryl's got his bike. Maybe she can go back with you or Scott. Go with me. Also, after Rick and Daryl walk away from giving the baby to Aaron, we get further evidence supporting this as Rick says, see you back home, while Daryl responds, are you sure you want to talk to them assholes alone? Rick responds one last time before they get shot at, saying, yeah, that's how it gets done. So Rick is going to speak to Jadis, and he's probably going to show her all the Polaroids he's been taking of the destroyed savior buildings as proof that they're winning the war. Not only do they have the sanctuary blown up, but they also have multiple photos of the outpost, but I don't think that Rick has the photos from the other outpost that Jesus, Morgan, and Tara went to. Now Jadis will most likely end up locking Rick up, and I don't see us getting more information than that honestly, so even though we may just see Rick getting captured next episode, how will he get free? Will Daryl come looking for him? Like, at least that he knows where he went. See you back home. Sure you want to talk to the assholes along? Uh, yeah. That's how it gets done. All right, you gone too long, I'm gonna come looking for you. That's the plan. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to the sneak peek for next week's episode, which focuses on a conversation between Negan and Gabriel. Negan starts asking Gabriel why he became a priest, and Gabriel gives a very sincere and honest answer, explaining how he loves God and how he loves people so he wants to bring the two together. Negan responds by agreeing with the fact that he enjoys helping people with their weaknesses too. He says he's been doing that one way or another his entire life, which is obviously a reference to his backstory. Negan's backstory has been recently released in full as its own standalone comic book volume titled Here's Negan and it's definitely worth a read. Now I'll avoid any spoilers here, but feel free to check out my recent video where I discuss it in full, along with my opinions on how they may integrate it into seasons 8 and 9. We've been told that this conversation between Gabriel and Negan would act as sort of a confessional booth for Negan, so I'm really excited to hear more about that. Everyone in the fanbase is really interested in Negan's character right now, both casual fans and hardcore ones, so they'll most likely love this to bits. We've also been told that this conversation between them would foreshadow hints of Negan's backstory, and they really seem to be blunt with that fact considering that they released this part of the conversation as the sneak peek for the episode. So what do you guys think of all of this? How much more info will we get hinting at Negan's backstory? Will Dwight end up getting found out, or will he help break out the saviors involving Negan? Will we watch Rick get captured by Jadis? Leave any predictions or theories down in the comment section below. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, or even subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future. If you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, check out my Patreon where there's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel such as the chance to directly influence the videos being produced. It'd really help in the long run, but it isn't necessary by any means. But as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. 
Peace out. This one still has a full clip.